a few of the most powerful forces in the world are intangible. Two that stick out are the mind and the voice. What about the combination of both? Psychology is the study of the mind. Linguistics is the study of language. What happens when the two worlds meet? You get psycholinguistics. I got an email recently from a fellow who told me that he was seeing life differently since reading my emails every day. Why though? Because repeated exposure to information can change your paradigm. Words dictate your mind, and your mind dictates your reality. But let's start off at the beginning. Take a walk down memory lane. Think about the first memory that you can possibly remember. Take your time. Once you spot that memory, how are you remembering that information? In pictures. And if I ask you to share that info with me, how will you do it? With words. At first, when you try explaining it in words, you are going to have difficulty, mainly because the memory was from so long ago. Your sentences will be choppy. But if I give you one week, you will be able to explain it more clearly. You'll begin to notice something. The more you are able to use words to explain those memories, the more clarified the memory becomes. Language is playing a role on your mind. Since growing up, your entire reality was shaped with words. You were given words which represented a portion of reality, sort of like how math represents reality. We know that there are not actual entities of one, two, three, four running around. That would be creepy. But rather, one, two, three, four are concepts which help us explain the real world. If someone is holding some apples, you'll use the number four to represent the amount they are holding. That number four represents a portion of reality, which is why communication skills is not just a way to build your influence with others. It's a way to build influence with yourself. You gotta use the right words when you are talking to yourself. The right words are turning into pictures for your brain, which is sharpening your narrative. Neuroscience 101: The brain influences the mind. The mind influences the brain. Everything that you have been learning, doing, and thinking about your entire life has shaped neural pathways in your brain. Those neural pathways create an emergent property, which is the mind. The beauty is that you can use the mind to now rewire new neural pathways to your brain. Pretty cool when you think about it. Intelligence was never fixed; it was more of a lifelong process. With the surge of technology, we are able to do more research on the brain, and as we do more research, we are able to see that the brain is able to be shaped. It's a process called neuroplasticity. You want to be practicing psycholinguistics for your life. Not as scary as it sounds. It's just about choosing your words more carefully, and being more mindful of the words you consume. Even though you can't tell, your brain is picking up on the small things. No need to overanalyze this one. But when you are afraid of doing something, just practice reframing. Reframing equals changing the narrative. Wrong. I have to give a speech. Right. I get to give a speech. These small tweaks add up. It reprograms your brain over time. The language will shape new neural pathways on the brain, and the new neural pathways will lead to a new mind. And in return, the enhanced awareness of the mind will use language more strategically, and the brain will level up further. That's how you see the power of words. Embracing the world of communication skills has the power to shift your reality.